Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your monthly love reading for the month of September 2020. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for anyone with Pisces placements. What do we need to know in the way of love for September 2020? Okay, let's get one more. Oh, that's way too many. Just one more, please. There we go. Okay, it's this is kind of contradictory, so we'll have to check this out. All right, you have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. But at the same time, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right, so there are red flags somewhere. Now, they're, they're saying it's safe for you to love, but to be careful maybe of loving the wrong people, okay, or the wrong person. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, so playfulness. Now, the red flags could be that you, uh, the red flags are that you're not opening up enough, you're not being playful enough, you're not allowing love in because you're afraid. These red flags could be all about you looking at your own red flags. Like, um, you may uh, need to check yourself. Like, why am I so closed off to love? Why don't I feel like it's safe? Why am I not being my open, playful self? There might be something about you that's a red flag. But the truth is, they're saying it's safe for you to love, but to pay attention to the red flags and to be open and playful. So make sure you're just not letting the wrong people in. All right, like it's safe for you to love, but not the wrong people. You like watch those red flags. And like I always tell somebody, I always tell everybody, um, you'll know who's karmic there will be red flags everywhere they will tell on themselves but you have to be uh in tuned enough to know if you don't want the wrong person in or you don't feel like dealing with a karmic relationship that's uh negatively karmic um it's you, you got to see those red flags but it is safe for you to love you can love you just got to be careful okay all right, let's keep going here. For Pisces, what else do we... I'm um, sorry, this was Rom This is Whispers of Love, Oracle. That was Romance Angels. We will be using um, Angel Answers next and after Tarot. All right, what else do we need to know about this reading for Pisces? In the way of love. Pisces. Anyone with Pisces placements? We got all three of them in one shot. Let's check them out. Oops. All right, we got spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. All right, that is about being open. Again, the red flags could be about you being closed off. Um, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Trust your faith in this situation. Okay, so have faith. And we have slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. All right, this for me always means, kind of like the pay attention to the red flags card, it means um, don't jump into things too quickly because things will come out later. Um, in other words, like take it slow, spend time talking to them, spend time getting to know them, have a positive, uh, optimistic outlook. It's safe. But at the same time, keep it slow and really get to know them because this whole reading feels like a warning that maybe Pisces jumps in too fast and ends up in a situation where they didn't see the red flags. They just went for it and just, you know, didn't, um, didn't pay attention and ends up with the wrong people. It's safe for you to love if you pay attention, take it slow, open up and be playful, spend time together, have faith, but at the same time, always looking for, um, the red flags in the beginning of a relationship, you know, those first three months are crucial. Take it really slow. If they can't agree to be your friend for a while, then they're not the right one anyway, right? I would say that this reading is really about 
There is a lot of good around you, but you also have to be very careful to keep things slow and, and steady to see what a person's all about because you could have, you know, we get sent these little karmic tests all the time to see if we're ready for the real deal. If you're letting in karmics left and right, then you still have things you got to work through. If you can safely, you know, avoid, oh, like there's a red flag, there's a red flag there. And, you know, it's kind of, I call it playing kickball, you know, nope, not the right one. That one gets sent out to the field and so on and so forth until I figure out who doesn't, isn't riddled with red flags, right? So, I mean, this takes time. It's, it's keeping it slow, spending time with them, getting to know them, but at the same time, keeping it really slow okay all right let's get into some after tarot and see if you were to take this advice where it would go spirit and angels anyone for the highest good where does this reading go to if pisces were to take the advice or anyone who's guided to watch this reading anyone with pisces placements there you are, Pisces. Oh, oh, we have the devil showed up. All right. So we might be trying to get you out of a karmic relationship. You might already be in a karmic relationship. Let's get the devil here. Give me another card on the devil, please. Oh, Queen of Wands. Woo. All right. So Pisces, be careful of a Capricorn. Be careful of a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Male or female, doesn't matter. All right, let's get you another one. So if Pisces, mm, I almost feel like you're already in something karmic here. All right, tell me more about um, Queen of Wands. What do we need to know? Oh, wow really release if you're involved with somebody who is an aries leo sagittarius or even possibly capricorn they're saying please release please release that's not the one for you all right so we want another card here for pisces what if they were to take this advice and release oh my gosh the world you'd come full circle you'd you'd graduate a karmic you've been in a karmic cycle all right, so if Pisces were to release and allow this karmic cycle to close, where does this go next? Okay, so this reading seems to be for people who are already in a karmic relationship. All right, where would this go next if Pisces were to release the karmic? There you are. Pisces would take a look at the past, look at the cup and see... This is like, the Eight of Cups is like uh, walking away, yes, but it's also taking a look back at things. Really, um, and I feel like this is you, taking a look back at something. You would, if you release this person, you would actually, I feel, discover things um, about the karmicness, if that's a word, of this relationship. Okay, can we have one more? Can we have one more? Oh, we got the peace card came out. Six of swords. So you'd move towards peace. Can I have one more? You'd be able to get some kind of peace from the past. Here, just one. That's too many. Just one more card. You'd be able to come to some kind of peaceful place. Celebration, happiness. You'd be on your own, but you would definitely feel more peaceful. You'd be happy, you'd celebrate, you'd get to peace, and you'd feel more independent, secure, and solid on your own. For a while, you know, when you come out of a karmic relationship, you cannot jump into another one. All right, so I feel as though, yes, your red flags, we're all about the fact that this person is very karmic to you, and they really want you to pay attention. They want you to really spend that time looking into this person. Um, I feel as though... You're definitely being told, slow down, take your time, that you need to take a good look about the, at what this is. Um, 
I also feel like, um, I definitely feel this person is, for most of you, will be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe a Capricorn. All right, but they're saying this is definitely karmic, and they're asking you to release it. And that'll end in a karmic cycle for you, and you'll be ready for a brand new one. This is going to be really good. I mean, look, Six of Swords, Three of Cups. When you get through it, you're going to take a good look back at what you dealt with, and you're going to head towards something much more peaceful, more, much more uh, happier, much happier. And you're going to be on your own, but you're really going to enjoy it. The, this on your own isn't a lonely card. This person's confident, secure, independent, and has everything they need on their own to be successful. Um, and this, when you get into this vibe, this Nine of Pentacles vibe, that's when you're ready for someone new to come in. When you're confident and secure and independent on your own. All right, let's get you a couple of angel cards here. Angels for Pisces. In the way of love. What do you want them to know about this reading? What do you want them to focus on or know about, please? Anyone with Pisces placements or anyone else who resonates with this reading? Pisces. You got a blank one, so we're going to put that back. The only one I got out was openness. Give me a couple more from the bottom. Light. Oh, spirit stepping in. Give me one more. Why can I only get one at a time? And grace. All right. Wow. Openness. Grace. Beautiful. And grace is like this peace that you're coming into. Light. Spirit has stepped in. For me, this light card is always spirit stepping in. I feel like it might be time for you to be open with the person you're with about not being happy in this relationship. I need one more for Pisces, please, from the bottom. Inspiration. All right. For some of you, this could be a karmic... Um, No, I, I just feel like you're being told to get inspired for something new. Be open to something new. Be open to the idea of something new. Um, this is always my very graceful goodbye, Felicia card. See how it's just kind of like she's heading out the door, but she's doing it in a very sweet way. Like, bye, Felicia. Um, I almost feel like you need to release something or someone, but be careful how you do it. Because um, releasing a karmic has to be done in a certain way so that you solve the karma. Uh, you, don't, you never have to be with, be with a karmic. Um, unless there's something you want to work out with a karmic. Um, if you have a karmic that will work with you. Uh, most always there's a karmic that is just so um, karmic-y and uh, toxic <clears throat> that we're unable to work with them. That's the time when you have to make your graceful exit. But to be careful how you do it, because you even if they're not going to solve their karma because they're too toxic and they just don't, they don't understand how it works and they don't want to work on themselves, that's kind of their problem. Um, you have to gracefully make an exit in the best way possible so that you don't build up any more negative karma. So you want to kind of, you know, now this isn't if you're in a horrible situation where somebody's abusive or whatever, your, your karma gets solved once you leave them no matter what. But if it's a situation where you know somebody is just too toxic for you and you need to make a graceful exit, just do it in the kindest of ways and get out of there. You've solved your karma. You don't have to worry about, you know, the fact that you, you've had to um, leave this person behind if they're in this energy. That's okay. I mean, people think, well, it's my karmic. I have to work out the bad karma. No, your end of it is solved if you handle things correctly. Their end of it is their problem. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful for someone. Um, if it resonated, please comment down below. Um, if it was your reading, if not, check your other signs. My readings are for all placements, so any reading could really resonate with you. Please like, share, subscribe if you need a full reading, not just a short oracle reading. My prices are directly below this video in the description area. Reach out to me by email. That's there too. Um, 
what else? Uh, PayPal's there. Everything's there. Just reach out by email if you need a reading. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.